Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So off camera, I've been grinding. I think I've got two levels so far. Uh, I've got it to the point where this room now is basically giving me no experience whatsoever, which I guess is the way it goes. Only me could get defeated by enemies when using stop time. And I need to turn my headset down, because it is absolutely devastating. Right, okay, so let's continue, shall we? Now, um, I believe we're actually going through here anyway, so let's go. We've got an enemy to fight, we've got a main boss, which is the lesser demon, actually. And, oh, these, these fleas with the armor, they suck. They really do a hell of a lot of damage, and their hitbox is huge. Funny enough, their hitbox is actually way bigger than they are. So, that's worth noting. Oof. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Crisis averted for now. But anyway, we can start grabbing some items. I did actually pick quite a few items up from the enemies, to be honest. We've got a couple of high potions. We've got the Takamitsu, which is not as good as what we have, I don't think. We've got the broadsword. The broadsword is now actually doing one damage more. Curious. It is a good bit slower, though. But eh, I suppose we'll change it up for now. Actually, it's not that slow. We might roll with it for now. Just for something a little bit different than the jeweled knuckles. Now, if we go through here, we can get the stone mask, which we're finally going to swap out our sunglasses for. Um, now, it gives us a small boost to our defense, and it puts our initiative up. I think that's initiative. Now... From what I can understand, initiative actually affects your magic. Makes your magic do more damage. And then if we push this thing open here, we can get the Topaz Circlet and the Holy Rod. And thinking about it, <laughs> we're going to be using the Holy Rod as our weapon from now on. Um, yeah, it does, funny enough, it does the same damage. But I'm pretty sure it has like a magical blast and it's got a much bigger attack radius as well so I remember when I played this game before I actually used the holy rod for quite a long time yeah it just it's yeah <laughs> we're at the point now finally where the jeweled knuckles are I wouldn't say obsolete per se but we've got better options now and like an idiot I've just used slow time which actually is not a great idea because we're going to need it. At least for a little bit anyway. It does make the next boss a little bit easier once we get absolutely destroyed by these flea men. Son of a bitch, come here. Let me tan that ass. There we go. 55 health, that's not great, not going to lie. Not a fan of that. But alas, that is what it is. Oof. Kiss my ass. Then I guess if we've got to use some health potions, uh, then so be it. Um, might not be the worst shout in the world, actually. We've got some cheese. Delicious cheese, apparently. Only gives you 18 health, really? Ah. Huh. All right, well, whatever. We shall eat some delicious cheese and get the holy rod back out. Okay. Now here we have our lesser demon friend. He's not actually that difficult. Now, one problem with him... Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> what he'll actually do is he will fly up into the air and he will generate enemies. Now, there's an enemy called a mud man. And the only way to fight him in the entire game is for the lesser demon to spawn him. But, eh. We don't care about getting 100% completion of the enemies because that would take 
a long time and uh, a lot of it's I think RNG based anyway but this leads us oh that's where we're supposed to get that weapon and the frank fur so what was that the onyx something that we just picked up topaz circlet restores HP by poison damage that's curious and that puts our um, INT skill up by a lot. So we lose a little bit of defense. But it makes our magic way better, which... All right. Yeah, possibly. So our defense is pretty high, to be fair. Right, let's go and mist our way through here. Like so. And get the bat power. The soul of the bat. Now we can really, really start exploring and open this place right up. Excellent. Now one of the great things about emulation is we can fast forward. Which is great because if you look at our blue mana bar... Mana takes an eternity to regen in this game, at least without any special items. But we can fast forward. <laughs> Is it cheating? Maybe. But it saves us a hell of a lot of time. So we're going to roll with it. Okay, so the lesser demon felled and the bat power obtained. Now we can start really cleaning up and getting some wicked items. Now, going around and collecting all these items is probably going to take a considerable amount of time. But, that's fine. And, like most of our other abilities, or should I say our animal forms, we can... Oh, yes, high potion. Don't mind if I do. We can augment the uh, bat ability. And I'm pretty sure it's like one of the most useful abilities that we're going to get in this entire game. Um, don't think there's anything else back here. Damn, flea men, bastards. Hey, we got a high potion. Excellent. From what I remember, the high potions are a somewhat rare drop. So, to get a couple straight off the bat like that, quite happy. Yeah, that's a rather painful room. Also, how close are we to leveling? Nowhere near. So we need like 990 XP. That's a lot. But we can drop a save. Save all of that delicious progress. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, thinking about it, if... There are any other forms that we can get. I think the bat is the last one. Unless there's a form later on that I've either forgotten about or I never got. Because like I said, I didn't complete this game. I only got through the first um, castle section. So, we can get anti-venom, potion, and our fairy card. Now, the fairy card is pretty wicked. Actually, uh, get our fairy our first familiar. Now, she starts off incredibly useful, uh, useless, I should say. Um, but as she starts gaining levels, she will heal us. But she doesn't heal us for free. Um, she will... Actually, I think we have to go into Relic. Uh, there we go. And here she will quickly arrive. So she will heal us with items and things. Thank you for giving me life. <laughs> yeah, I never noticed she said that. Um, yeah, she will heal us uh, and heal status effects and things like that using items that is uh, in our inventory. Now, if we fast forward for ages, she'll eventually just stop and sit on us, which I thought was quite cool. But she gets rather upset if we abruptly move. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, so... I think that's basically everything in the library that we can do for now so let the collectathon begin now I haven't done it for this video 
but what I'm going to be doing going forwards, probably start it in the next one, is I'm going to have to have a list and optimize where everything that we can now get lays. Because technically our next objective is to get the um, upgrade for the bat. So that is what we will start working towards after we've cleaned house and got every item that we can. Now, from what I can understand as well, not all the weapons are actually free pickups. Some of them are drops from enemies. Uh, one of the most powerful swords, for instance, is spawned from an enemy later on. Uh, and it has a 1 in 500 and something drop rate, which, yeah, that kind of blows chunks. It can take up to two hours on average, apparently, to farm for it. So we will be farming for it, but uh, I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to get it. And then they say double that time if you want two of them, because of course you can have one in each hand, which is deliciously overpowered, I'm sure. But I don't think I managed to get that weapon before anyway. Right. So what we should do really... Oh, you know what we should do, actually? You son of a bitch. We should check on our little dub friends down below. See what they're doing. I think they're doves. Maybe seagulls. I'm not sure. And then we need to head to the clock tower. No, we've done the clock tower, haven't we? Did we go all the way up into the clock tower, though? We did not. We should be able to do that now. But let's go check on our friends down below. Our knight is back. Now, remember how tough this guy was when first we arrived. He's not going to take many hits now. Yeah, he's literally nothing to us. But sadly, because we're so high level, he gives us next to no... Uh, nah, we'll keep the fine. Uh, he gives us next to no XP, which sort of blows, to be honest. Because the amount of XP you get from enemies scales with your level. Now, let's see our bird friends. This should be the one where they lay eggs. A female bird is going to lay eggs. There we go. She's nesting. Yep, there we go. She's laid the eggs. There we are. Lovely. Now, what's through here? Uh, apparently nothing this time around. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Onwards and upwards. Right. Avoid the Medusa heads. Now, it doesn't matter how we get up here now, because we have the power of bat flight. Now, this is basically the point of the game where you should just get the jeweled knuckles. But if we got them now, they would kind of almost be obsolete before we even started. Um... I guess, you know what, let's just keep proceeding, oh, we're on 14 odd minutes already, let's go see if we can get the items from the clock tower, go back through the marble gallery, oh, give me my stopwatch, the only thing I'll stop the time, really, now our familiar, funny enough, Yep, we're just getting destroyed. And this is because our familiar is at the point where she's still useless. Son of a bitch. Come on. There we go. So she will actually free us if she was a higher level. She actually supposedly has a little hammer that she will smash us out of the uh, stone state with. But apparently it's a lot quicker than us shaking ourselves out of it. Now, I don't believe I've ever seen that myself, but that's what I've heard. That is what I've discovered through trawling through 
you know, the old forums and such. Now this candle here always has 250 cash. Don't even bother, love. Get out of here. You're just slowing me down. Yeah, man. There we go. Take your death like a woman. I don't know what that means, but I said it. Now you can take your death like a weird, grizzly lizard thing. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. We can, of course, go down there. And we will do, but maybe not just yet. There's a very specific item that we're aiming towards. And that is the jump boots. Actually, I think they're called the anti-gravity boots or something like that. Very important item, actually. Hey, we've got a shield potion. Probably useless. Can't say I've ever used one. But there we go. I suppose it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Oh, shit. Didn't actually mean to activate our stop time there, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I suppose it's made everything marginally easier. Collect all these hearts. Ah, no. Yeah, you can see our familiar fairy is literally doing nothing. I don't think they become that useful until they get to at least level 25. Flea man, fuck off. Maggot. Not worth our time. So here we go. Yep, we can go straight up the middle now. And plunder some items. Fly, my beauty, fly. Okay, so, what do we got? We've got potion, hammer, and a life apple. Now, life apples, uh, I believe, act as um, extra lives. Yeah, so the life apple will, I believe, instantly resurrect you, but it's only usable by the fairy, I think. So if you don't have her equipped, um, you're going to have a bad time. And here are the gravity boots. Now, these little beauties allow us to do that. <laughs> but it's kind of fickly to actually do. Now, what sucks about the gravity boots is if we go into system, nope, not system, relics, and we look at the gravity boots, wearer can jump high. Kind of cryptic, because if you start jumping, you'll notice that your height doesn't actually change. Curious indeed. And I don't think our gravity boots um, is actually a physical item that we can look at here. Which is bad. So I actually had to look up how to do the gravity uh, jump. You would have thought that somewhere it would have told us. Now there's a secret item that we can use if we go back to the library we should have a library card or there's a secret item that we should be able to get i should say i think we can buy like a library card from zimasta i think they're like 500 so that will take us straight back to him so what we're going to do you I'm interested in this. take my gems for a start. <laughs> that was a decent chunk of change. I'm interested in this. And we are going to buy a library card. Yeah, they're only 500, so you might as well always have one of those on us at all times. So, uh, as you can see, um, stuff is just incredibly expensive here. Medals. That give us plus one to defense and attack. I don't know if that's an equipable item or what. Ring with holy powers. Basic map of Dracula's castle. Might not be an awful idea. Uh, and of course we can unlock the magic here as well. But, you know, uh, I don't find a huge amount of use in any of that stuff. 
So, the actual map is reasonably useful, I suppose. I don't think it shows all of the secret areas. But it is nice to have, I guess. And my cat is jumping up on my computer, which is not what we want. Not really. Okay, so before we end off this video, I am... Ooh, I don't even know how I activated that then. We are going to go downstairs. I wish we could jump down there, but we can't. And we are going to go slap the uh, Master Librarian around a bit. Just for the shits and gigs. Well, not really for the shits and gigs. There is a reason. Now, I didn't realise that we could do this. Uh, in fact, this is another tip that I got from... I can't remember if... The games librarian told me about this, or if it's one of the things that I looked up. But either way, it's kind of a cryptic. Ooh, Jesus. It's kind of a cryptic thing that the game in no way explains to you. But, uh, oh, you son of a. Oh, there you go. She's healed me. Good girl. That is why we pay her the big bucks. Yeah, I guess if we paid her anything at all, she is basically a slave to us. But then I guess she owes her life to us. It is us that gave her her very soul. So I guess if she has to follow us around healing her, healing us, until the day she gets put back in the closet or wherever the hell she came from, um, that's a small price to pay. Really bloody Fleeman. Yeah, man. There we go. And you kiss my wrinkly ass. Now, under here is the Master Librarian. But if we do our super jump, the first time we nudge him, we get a permanent health increase. And then, and this is so hard to activate reliably. And if we keep jumping up and down, and depending on your luck, and how lucky, you, you know, the gods are feeling, and how kind the gods are feeling, you can get another three items from doing this. Now apparently it can take, you know, a good couple of hours to get everything, and Lord knows I don't have that sort of time to waste, so we'll be doing this off camera. Now, you're supposed to juggle him. But if you smack his head on the top of the roof there, uh, that like resets some sort of counter. I don't know. It it yeah. It's kind of confusing how this works. But you can get some very powerful items here, and he'll always give you the same three items, but in a random order, from what I can understand. Now I'm not sure if we can get these items from other other means, if we can find them around the castle. But yeah, that is basically the, the gist of how we do it. But it takes a hell of a lot of time. Now, unfortunately, it's one of those mechanics that I absolutely despise in games. Um, it, it's a cool little secret, but it just serves to waste the player's time. Um, I mean, I don't mind if things are, are secret, you know, like if you had to do it to him like 10 straight times and then you get the next one, um, you know, after another 30 hits, for example, but to just lock it behind a completely random uh, chance, which is based on your luck skill. Yeah, not a fan of that kind of mechanic. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. And the next video is probably going to be some kind of montage of me going around the castle and just grabbing loads of items. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.